pretty low as I know where the kitchen is. I did after all used to live here. Vicky! Oh, my God. Good morning, Dorian. I hope you're happy. Oh, it's a beautiful day. My daughter's on the mend, and, uh, oh, my friend Dorian has come to call. What's not to be happy about? David Vickers and the miserable state his life is in, thanks to his dear, dear friend, Vicky. Did Grandpa Clint say how long he was going to be? I can't say. He was on a business call. It could be a while. Now, if that will be all... Oh, come on. Take a load off. Have some of this... this... <laughs> Delicious tea. I appreciate the offer, but I have a crew of plumbing specialists to oversee a problem with the cooling system in the wine cellar. You're not going to leave me here by myself, are you? I'm afraid... Uh, yeah. Asa won't mind. <laughs> Besides, we have a lot of catching up to do. So, how are things? Galloping apace. Ace has been working you hard, hasn't he? I can tell. The sun's barely up and you already look beat. Let me talk to him for you. That's kind of you, but I'd rather not rock the boat. Come on. We both know how tough Asa can be. He wants everybody working for him to be mucking the stalls or whatever he did growing up. I can't imagine how hard it must be to ask for a raise or even a personal day. <laughs> must be a nail biter. <laughs> how much vacation time do you get anyway? Two weeks. That's it? You have been with the guy since the dawn of time and all you get is two weeks? That's Mr. Buchanan's policy. Look, Asa has a real soft spot for his great granddaughter. I would be happy to go to bat for you. Uh, that won't be necessary. Nigel. You have to fight for what's yours in this family, just like I have to fight for what's mine. And that is... See, somehow they've gotten the wrong idea that I'm bleeding out my trust fund, and they cut me off. I see. Crazy, right? I mean, I am very responsible, just like you are. The way I see it, us regular folks, we have to stick together. So... I would totally be willing to talk to Asa for you. If you could help me out a little with Grandpa Clint. Sarah. Look, I know Grandpa is going to come around. He has to sooner or later. Then speak with him. I will. But come on. A little backup intel wouldn't hurt, you know? Like, like how does my grandfather think? What's going on in his head? Anything you can give me so I can help loosen up the purse strings a little? You could ask me that yourself. <sighs> oh. It is too early for this. It's her again, isn't it? I ponder off on your cousin. She's Christian's problem now. What if something happened? If it's an emergency, they'll bust the door down. Mm. See. You gave her a key? Also, it's the Landview Police Department. We have a key from the super and we're coming in. What? How you doing? All right, you know what you're looking for. Bag it, tag it, let's move out. What the hell? Begging your pardon, ma'am. Search warrant for the premises. What for? Evidence relating to the murder of Spencer Truman. You can't do this. You had your chance to cooperate, Balsa. Now I'm going to find what you're hiding on my own. I have absolutely no idea what you're going on about. I got this from David. It reads, Dear Dorian, Martinique equals beautiful. Hard to make a living, got a job at a resort. And making a go of it, it doesn't help that they don't seem to understand my French. C'est la vie. Love and kisses, David. Well, that's pretty much what he wrote to me. Actually, he seems to be doing quite well there. Coffee? Read between the lines, Vicky. This is, this is a, a call for help. I mean, hard to make a living. But that means inadequate, legitimate employment. How long is it going to be before David is making ends meet by being a, a common gigolo? Oh, Dorian, come on. You know as well as I do, David always lands on his feet. And on his back more than a few times. Yeah, well, you'd know a lot more about that than I would. Have a little faith in him. Ty 
Tai Chi lessons aside, I know David 10,000 times better than you do. He's not going to make it as a cabana boy, hosing down beach chairs, sticking little umbrellas in other people's drinks. He, he has a far more existential disposition. Do you know that's the first thing you've said that I actually agree with? Then you know that this meaningless monotony will drive him mad or to an early grave. Either way, it's all you're doing. You and your sanctimonious guilt tripping. You made him give back ten million dollars that was rightfully his. Nobody put a gun to his head. This is your doing, and it is your responsibility to save him. He's not asking to be saved. He is begging for it. Vicky, it's in your hands. Give him his money and bring him home. Thank you, Nigel. Now then, did you think that uh, getting Nigel on your side was going to win me over to your cause? Nigel has been with this family since before I was born, and Asa walks all over him. What's wrong with me trying to back him up a little? What's wrong is that you're trying to get him to help you shake down the family tree. I resent that. I am not some kind of... No, no, no. Don't dig yourself in any deeper, okay? Now, if you want to talk, let's just talk. But you should know that you'd be better off being straight with me, not coming at me at some angle. Cool. I'm the same way. Well, good. What's on your mind? Oh, well, I, I don't know if you've heard or not, but I need money. So, can I have some? No. No. 